Out. And blow the thing. And pull up. What? <laughs> Mad Cobra in the building, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only. Up and down it. Aye. Big man. Respect. Plenty of maximum. Maximum. Every level of respect. And you know you get that from me. I mean, they have to show yeah, me face the other day and make you know that still. Yeah, man. The same issue. Same issue. Hey. Get up. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. You are such a legend and such a contributor to this entire music, um, to right. Jamaican culture around the world, to dancehall music, to world right. music. There's so many things that I want to talk to you about. But brother, maximum, maximum respect. Thank you for being here. On Jamaicans.com and of course, dancehalljams.com where we play the best in dancehall and reggae music 24-7. Just a second ago, we just touched on and we'll get back to it in a moment. Yeah. New single, Get To Youths. Yeah. So out the box, let's 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 dive into what you're talking about in this song, Get to Youth. And again, we're gonna play it again a little bit more, but we gotta talk first. Yeah, man, it's a talk about social conventions, you know, the, 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 the pressure that feels the masses, which is mm -hmm. the most the most likely the ghetto youth, the poorer yeah. class, the, see, really? the, the imbalance in society. Mm -hmm. See that 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 is 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 plain. It is it, it is not hidden in blind sight anymore. It no, is in our faith. So when the youth them know, say, look here. Believe in oneself. You know, you can read somewhere, it's never over. You see me I say? So that is the message yeah. in the sun. And just to be aware of your surrounding, don't trust people, just be you. And do and be the best person you can be. You understand? Be aggressive about what you're doing. You see me I say? You know, it, it, the amazing thing is, with all of the music that you've done, I don't know if people understand if, if if they're just passive listeners how much of a content you have in your music because they might just hear you know some some of the bad man sang them or they might just hear the galley sang them but right i listen with a different ear not just as a selector but as a die hard fan of the music and of yourself as well as an artist and over the years you've talked about these types of things and you've talked about them from a very real place um you know of of not just life experience, but of seeing what other people are going through and actually empathizing with the situations right. of the people out there. So let's right. let's get into let's get into your background a little bit. Um, I mm -hmm. can talk about what I know of you, but I want to hear from 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 you yourself. Um, so just so you know, me grew up in a place called Miramar, Florida. I come from New York, grew up in a place called Miramar, Florida, which yeah. is a little Jamaica over here, right? right. Now Miramar, in a lot of ways. Um, back in the days and, and up till now is very similar to the place that I understand that you're hailing from in certain ways. And I'll, I'll explain those similarities in a, in a moment. You're from Barbican, don't you? Right. Okay. Barbican, growing St. Mary from St. Mary to Portmore. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so now for those who aren't familiar with Barbican, and I will with you later on, not on the live, share a personal Barbican story. You see the youth name Mr. Alexander Star was just coming? He might go laugh about it because he know the story too. <laughs> But yeah. um, but uh, the, to explain to those who are not familiar with Kingston, right? Mm. Barbican is a place where you have people doing very well, middle class, right. people, and and they're right up the road from people who ain't doing so good, right? Yeah, right down the street from some people where they're on the corner and they might try to good, but the type right. of good where they might try to do is not a good way. Them can't right. in, involve with the law and and right. with uptown citizenship. Um, right. Barbican is a very interesting place that bridges, you know, the middle class with, with the ghetto youth to them. Right. Barbican, where, 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 where I was born, Tree Bird Sucker Lane, that is, that, that is, in, is in the heart of Barbican Square. Mm. See, in, right yes. beside the you, you have Wacker Pen, you have Fort Pen Lane, the whole of them place there, Grand Spin around the corner, mm. everywhere. Mm. See, in? so as you said, you have the the upper class, which is which is the upper Barbican, you have the Jacks Hill. You understand? You have those places right. yeah. around the Charlotte side, everywhere, down to Cherry Gardens, you name it. Mm -hmm. Arcade. You, you understand? So you have a mixture, as you said, of the ghetto, and you have the upper class, middle class, and people who, you understand how they do them thing. But it's a mixed, it's a mixed culture mm -hmm. where I'm from. I attended um, Antibat Basic School, just like Bujubantan. And then from there to New Day, all age. And then now, 
That is why what sent me to, to, to St. Mary as a, as a juvenile, as a young, as, as, a, as a little, little less, I was about like, um, between back and forth, between 10, 11, them vibe there. See? Okay. Them vibe there is, is political violence. Whoa. Political violence, let, let, let the family have to send mother and father stay in Kingston, but they send the youngsters into the country. Right. So that is where, I, I I got my country um, um background from. Mm. See, so that is one of the things what that, that and that upbringing, going into the country and learning the hard life, the harsh reality of certain things. You see me? I say that is why when I when 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 I when, I, when I'm when I'm doing songs, I reflect what I have lived and what I've seen. Right. No little man, no little shopping a pants man can't tell me about Garrison and tell me say. This is what causing violence. We know we on it said start. We out. Right, we right, out. Right. We right, out from the, the middle of it. You're in the thick of it. Right. So I know it. But simultaneously, being mm -hmm. in, in, in all of these different backgrounds that you were from, the amazing mm -hmm. thing is, and this is something that I learned about you from early on. For right. those who don't know, Mad Cobra is a name that reflects, you know, um, a sort of warish attitude which which Mad Cobra carrying out the music. But guess what? This is one of the most intelligent people you can stand up and talk to, you know. <laughs> and let me tell you why I said that, even more than just yeah. our conversations, right? Right. Why I said that is when I first me did a big feat and I couldn't find it. But your your um hard to wet easy to dry was one of the first cassette me buy as a youth, you know. Right. And like a preteen me go find that, you know. I'm a yeah. kid go I'm a, Hey, listen, I want something when my car go to school for a show and tell, you know. Right. I show and tell, uh, I take something from your culture. I'm going to bring that to my school, right? Right. That, when, when you were in the promotion of that cassette, right? Right. Of, of that album, um, I saw you on, what's the name of the show? Um, Rest in Peace, Don Cornelius. Um, Soul Train. Soul Train. You did an appearance on Soul Train, right? Soul now, Train, right. We, we are so used to our Jamaican artists going on TV and, you know, struggling with interviews. Man, right. when they all come talk to you right. and started asking you about yourself and your background and you started explaining yourself, I right. was like, me never know an artist can't speak his work, so. You know being on a black so you know, I don't try to use words that I am not familiar with. Mm. And sometimes when 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 um you're doing an interview, you know I I speak naturally. If you notice, I mix the Creole, the English, the patois, and what right. you. I can be very simple if I want to, but you have to reach out when you're in a particular audience or whatever mm. or, or who is viewing. You have to um be neutral, so you you speak um where they can understand because back in the days they didn't understand Jamaican patois. Yeah. Or the broken English, right. broken English, what I'm call it. See, and mm -hmm. so that is when, and we take hats off to Shabarangs because I was there when when, when these these ground were breaking. We have to yeah. be explaining what is this, what is yeah, that, yeah, what yeah. Is that, that, that. That interview was part of um that era and that breakthrough. Right. Because when we even did the Arsene 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 show, we have to be doing the explanation the same way. Doing right. the American music world, we have to be explaining the same way. But it, it, is, it is just one of them things, and it is a boundary that I think we are beyond right now. Mm -hmm. You're right. To a certain extent, yeah, because the world, with, with what we're doing right now over the internet and connecting this way, right. um, the, the, the world, anything you want to know about any culture or any people or anything like that is just a couple taps away. And that's not what we grew up with. We grew up with. With less, with, with with so much less, we we we, we had to to to, to deprogram ourselves from ideas and stereotypes right. because right. that was all we had, unless you experience uh, a direct interaction with people, which now you can have instantly across right. the world. And I think that um the youths that are coming up in the music and stuff like that are definitely taking that on. You know, they're they're looking right. at different sounds and different styles of delivery and everything like that. Right. But most artists coming from Jamaica were just coming with just the experience that they had. And right. whatever what, whatever um, means that they had and, 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 and tools that they already had in their kit, they had to know sharpen right. to make themselves appeal to a, a broader audience. But you yourself, 
um, you started right. talking about how you wanted to go to school for engineering and all of these types right. of things. I'm like, this man is right. not just you know a bad DJ. This man is is a brain. This man is an intellect. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And 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 and, and, and back when I leave school, when I leave mm. school, I didn't I, I didn't know to type on a computer. Mm. I I had to send myself back to school, and that is right. and, and and I'm the first DJ to type songs. Mm -hmm. And print songs and take it to, to, to the studio without being unwritten. Mm -hmm. See, and I sent myself back to school. I did my subjects because, as I said, now we, we used to get we used to get a lot of trouble at school. What mm -hmm. carried us away, but we, we used to do schoolwork. But after that, I sent I I went back and I did my subjects. I did my yes. GCEs and I got all my subjects. After after leaving school and being in an entertain in an entertainment. Um, industry and was successful, right. but I, I took up the challenge. He said, "You know what? I am going to see if I could pass my GCE, and I passed all three that I took, all three, mm. which is English, Maths, and Economics." Right, right. So, anything that you wanted to take on in life, you were prepared to. Anything you want to take on, that is why this new generation, sky's the limit. Just go for what you want. Because mm. time ago come, time ago come, we ain't have a DJ that's thing about the lyrics and stuff and what the Simple, simple, simple. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and you're one person that has, has taken that and put it into full application because right. I, I don't think I have enough fingers to really count the amount of business that you've been involved in throughout the years yeah, and even now. And it's, it's, right. it's, it's, it should be a real inspiration to some of the youths them that are coming up right now. Yeah, so you got something like a mad cobra. Right. Yeah, we, yes, we, 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 we just just tell yourself this: you won't be the um the upfront star or big superstar for the rest of your life. So you have to you have to you have to think about down the road. You know much? Me not me not me not mock anybody. But me not mock nobody now. Go on like more discredit about the decisions that they made in life. But before right. before before all of this, back in the days, are still when I was doing certain business like big farm and. I deal with um resources and buses um transportation and parlors on the road. Entertainers used to take it to the show. Yeah. And COVID, COVID was a wake up call mm -hmm. to a lot of my colleagues. Right. So the youth, the youth who never who never shape up themselves then that COVID will come is the wake up call. See? Mm. You know, I always the past stage a DJ or a sing. True. Get some business, find what you want to do, do some it not been a big multi um corporation in um venture. Do something that you can live off or your family can benefit right. from when you want and when you when you're not able to be out there. So important that you said that. So <laughs> important that you said that because I don't think that anybody in your young mind, you really can't see 20, 30, 40 years into the future. Right. And really, right. really, what, because, because when I'm achieved the stardom, and I know you are a perfect example because your star rose to the highest level at the time that it could possibly rise for any artist right. coming out of Jamaica. When, right. when, when, when that album that, that we spoke about earlier on, um, Hard to Wait Up, Easy to Dry Drop with Flex. Right. Right. Flex, Flex was, Probably, I don't think that it stands in its own category because I don't think that um, there's right. another real slow jam mm -hmm. that can play with the R&B songs from a DJ out of Jamaica. You see what I'm right. saying? And to right. this day, I'll show you footage next time I'm at the studio. But to this day, big right. New Year's down, you know, but they play one big uptown place, you know, and guess yeah. when the draft, I met the people, them white, black, Hispanic, everything, Flex. jump up. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, when we drop legs for them, <laughs> you are seeing yeah, all white right, people start whining on these things. I'm like, yeah, man. Yeah, man. I, I, I want, I want to tell you, Senator Black said, Flex, Flex was just a test song, you know. That is why I, I, I said it in, in previous interviews, seeing even to the youngster coming up now. Just create from something, create it and try. Never, 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 mm -hmm. they don't hold back. Explore different genres. Different styles because Flex was a mistake. Flex was a was a was a so-called blooper that we yeah. in reality. Right. A tape, right. a tape slow down. I said it in, in interviews before this. A tape slow down. Slide start mimicking the 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 the, 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 the slow 
the flow beat created a beat and I and I slowed down the style and that was flex. Flex was a yeah. quick song. So that song was a blessing. Trapping on my lap. You understand? So and I embrace it. And what's See? crazy is yeah, um, 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 years um, um, after um, Oh, sorry, sorry, so can't continue. Yeah, I'm saying years after, I've yeah, seen um, young acts that wasn't even born in 1992. Yep. Do a remix. I see FIFA yeah. gonna do it. I see Rihanna do it. You understand? And right now, um, Styler G is doing one. That's a that's supposed to be doing one. Mm. See, um, you miss a post. I'm frightened when they said that's on it. Yo, the the bird rate are gonna go up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Let's have a dog in the way, man. Yeah, yeah man. man. He's he he's the ne I I really feel like, and I'm I'm saying this very constructively because I'm a huge fan of his talent. I really feel like when he gets the song that that lyrically connects in the chorus with a right. broad international audience, nothing right. can stop him. You know? And if he if he become a flex, yeah, listen to me now, man. Uh, all right. Me, me get me get some me get a synap synapses. I get a little sneak preview. I get one with 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 um style up, and I get it. And all three murderers, see mm. all three murderers. So with us with us with us hope everybody come cross. But next when Dexter use it, Dexter use it before him start the branch. You will get mm. them for stealing. Him actually play the actual trap murder. Yeah. Mm. Response overwhelming before him even start move to it. No, of course, of course. Uh, was, and, 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 it's and a I'm genius move for him. Use that song this thing. Genius yeah. move for him because it, it, it's literally you you built the stage for him with that song. Right. Because I don't think anybody else has a song. And Shaba, Shaba come close. Um, Shaggy come close, but you know Shaggy thing is a little bit more comical, right. even when he's doing like like sexy stuff. I think right. you're, you built the stage that, 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 that Dexter Daps and any other artist that comes in that vein stands on right. today because it did right. not exist in its present form before Flex. Right, right. Grateful, so, man. And, and, you know, me, 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 me acknowledge every, every, everybody's effort, you know. Even, in, even, even back in the days, you know what? Make Flex even stronger because Shabba come and did um, what is that? Grip, grip on the muscle. Grip on the muscle, yeah. I'm going good. See, yeah. um, Johnny Gill slow and sexy, them vibe, right, you know, right, right. it propel, but flex, it just stand up because um, at the time, that was something new to the ears and the flow mm -hmm. and the delivery also. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and, so and, 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 and the controversy and everything that came along with it. The funny thing right. about it is, right, that there's such, it's such a legendary moment in time when, when, when just the rhythm come out because you're right. on it with this big, huge tune flex. Right. Bojo Bantan is on it with this most controversial song of his entire career, which is Bombay Bye. Bye. And right. you have you have the man that was going to be that was healed by the world as the next Bob Marley, and we lost him so young, so tragically. God it's still. Let's all right. share the love. Yeah, because he was he was on the radio also, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it was such yeah. an amazing, amazing, right. amazing time in music. And I really wish if, if I had a time machine, I would have taken you to them go back there and see what was going on. <laughs> Let's talk about that era for a second because th there's so many important things I want to cover with you. You mentioned Shabba before, and Mano said your career and Shabba's career are aligned in a way that a lot of people might not realize, right? Right. Because, and, and again, always when I, when I make one of these statements and I ask you to elaborate on it, if I'm wrong, tell me some wrong. But this right. is how yeah. I remember it. This is how mm -hmm. I remember it. As I little you, when I just start this already, come in the into rap, 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 rap. When I just right. start this already, when I go to Jamaica and hear reggae in its setting and see youth my age and dance with it and say, no man, I might think this now. Right? Right. There was an artist named Supercat and an artist mm -hmm. named Ninja Man. And everybody right. had them as the biggest war and knockhead. And that happened right. because at the time they said that them have to find anybody for go war him aside from Shabba because Shabba concentrate on him international thing and it's like saying right. ninja are running down. Right. So, out of God's provision to the world, an artist <laughs> named Mad Cobra come along where I've 
We have the same kind of voice inflection as this man, Ninja Man, who are beat up by every yeah. artist, you know. Right. But the way how him bat them say, make him go stand up next to Shabba. Anytime Ninja Man go for Shabba, we are sending out Cabra Finn. Yeah, so, so, yeah man, more was a little bad dog. More was a little mm. bad dog. Then, mm. say, um, all right. Little Chris, Chris Sowell. I'm well, my brother, big up Chris Sowell anyway in there. Yeah, man. Let me, me, me meet Paul G's coming in, Banky. Who, who come from, who wheel from Spanish town. Mm. Seeing me as a food mode mm. so. With their Gilbert studio back and forth, that is after Gilbert's time, come 1988, them time the way I go to school, whatsoever. Mm. Because we from the start, jump around and get fit with me, specialists, and meet Shabba and so forth and rain. Never bust down. Right, that's what the key point. As I you growing up in St. Mary, see, Ninja Man is from St. Mary, a place named Anatoly. Them time the ninja man named Ugly Man or yeah. JJ. See? So, when ninja man busts on for the scene and I do a little thing, we always emulate ninja man. As a matter of fact, if a man said nothing about ninja man back in the days, before me even um, start the record, I may have See? I already know. 